Welcome to. <laughs> okay, Desmond. Yeah. How are we doing? Oh, I'm it's cold. lovely. <laughs> so we're here. Where are we? We are at a, a fish, lovely little fishery. Uh, it's called Harriscombe near Gloucester. And we're here with Sonia Bates today, aren't we? we? Are Bates and look and at we've this. Got our um, guest of honour, Baptiste. Hello. There he is. French international angler. And what's that, Skimmo? How do you say in French? Plaquette. Plaquette. A very nice English plaquette. Lovely. In a very sunny weather. So let's try to catch another one. He's lying. It's not. It's not nice. Look. It's not sunny. Look. There's Jake. Look. All right. We've had plenty of rain. So. Just a bit of rain. Talk us through what we're doing, Des, today. Well, we've we got a new. Um, been asked a lot about um, Pro Thatcher's black. You know, we've not had a black. We've had a uh, original. Yeah. Dark, well, black or dark. Um, so we've got that right, and we're out today filming it. You know, just using that today, catching all sorts. Really, we've had um, skimmers, lots of skimmers. Can we get a bag out the back of your van to have a look? Yeah. At it? Come on, let's go have a look. I want to walk around and warm my hands up. Yeah, it's cold. So Baptiste is having a bit of a fish now. He's having a go. I will put most of my gear back in the van. It's not getting. So this is the first box. This in production. First box. I've obviously had samples for probably two months, which I've been messing about with because there it is. Like all dark ground baits, some dark ground baits you actually put in the water, and the actual it doesn't stay dark, so the actual it washes out. So we've got this dead right. We can put that in the water. We've obviously experimented with it. It stays dark in the water, which is what you want. Obviously, the fish come over the darker ground baits. Well, a lot of venues I fish, I fish with a lot of dark ground bait. It's probably the same as what you do, Joe, when you do a lot of feeder fishing. Yeah, loads. Fish want to sit over it. You know, if it's bright sometimes, they spook away. So this is the same sort of strong fish mealy smell exactly as the original? Exactly the same as the Pro Fatters that we do now, apart from it's the dark version. Yeah. So it's the same ingredient. The original ingredients is perfect for, like, you know, what I'm doing today. And we were on a commercial. Has he got another one? He's got another one. Is that, that a plaquette? Proof of the pudding. We've had a little bar. French style. Yeah. Some nice big roach. And nice skimmers then, Des. Yeah, beautiful. Have a hell of a weight, I think. Um, so, yeah, so. But that's what this scrum bait's all about. You know, I've been using the pro uh, normal thatchers all all through, but obviously I've been putting some dark F1 with it to, to darken it off. Now, dark dark thatchers straight out of the bag. And and perfect. If you go to any fishery where you're a bit unsure what to what ground bait to use, you know, especially like we've been fishing today, it's freezing cold, we've had tons and tons of rain, and that's what Fatters has always that's been a bag for me. It's a bag, you know you can catch everything on it, you know, whether you're fishing for F1s, bream, roach, everything. So, um, shall we show the folks how easy it is to mix? It is mega, mega well, easy we're at to it. mix. I've got, I've got it over here, your we've pan container. Well, we've been messing around. Smashing the back of my band to pieces. No, it's not too bad. There's a the container. Look at the state of it, look. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I should have parked my van about a mile away. <laughs> right, we've got some there mixed up. Oh, look, there's a vent. Yes, yeah, right. there's. So let's take this down to the water. It's a little container. Because this is... What, I'll bring the water up here. You need this. Because it's a mess. Look at this, folks. Can't say we're not prepared. But this is how simple... Get that's a lot. The dark and the original is. Yeah, because obviously Thatcher's is quite a, um, it's milled a lot finer than a lot of other ground baits. So that's like a pint and a quarter bait container. So if you tip a little bit, you want about three quarters of a pint. It's not as essential, but if you aim for like three quarters of a pint, you can't go wrong. So if you get a pint container, just let, take a little bit of water out. Kilo bag. Stick that straight in the bucket. You see it's lovely and fine. So, so obviously the key is that that does not lose its colour in the water, no. which other black no, ground no, do. That's what we've worked at for a long time to get it right. And all I do is actually put the three quarters of a pint of water straight in the mix. So no little away. bit of this, bit of that. No, straight, straight away, in. obviously if you use a drill or your hands, mix it around nice and quick. And it looks useless, doesn't it? It looks terrible. And it goes all slushy and horrible. I'm going to do a blue peter on you here, Des. Because this is literally one I did earlier. Is that the one you done earlier? Yeah. Using the same. And that's what it goes like. Make sure that everything is mixed round. There's no dry ground bait left in the bucket. Always use like a round bowl. So it looks over wet. It looks horrific. But that's 
how I used to use, you know, the thatchers from years ago. It's the same mix. Stick that to one side. We'll probably better push that through a riddle. By the time we're done. By the talking. But you want to leave it 20 minutes. And that. That's one I did probably half an hour ago. Yeah, half an hour ago. Put it through a riddle. Rammed it through there. And it's absolutely perfect. I mean, that can be made up into a ball, down there's no a method. Point in, there's no point in messing around. As long as you sort of use that guide, a three quarters of a pint of water to a kilo of the Thatchers, you can't go wrong. Yep. It just saves a lot of mess about. If you want to come and put a little bit of water in it, mix it up with a drill, bit of water, you can do. But all my Thatchers is mixed this way. It's, you know, if you, obviously if you put other ground beets with it, you might have to add a little bit more water. I'll tell you what, while we're, we're waiting for that to rest, should we go and see how you've been doing it today? Yeah. Because that'll give us a few minutes just to let it absorb. Well, everybody, everybody's rubbish in the van. You ain't got mine, mate. So, Baptiste is having a go on. Yeah, we, you can see it's always freezing. I think the water's only like four or five degrees. And we've still got a few bubbles. As, as, the, as the day's gone on, topping so, up's been important. Changing baits from, like, I think Baptiste is fishing with double pinky at the moment. That what's after the action? Like they got like it does a lot of skimmer fishing. We topped up early after putting four balls in, and it was brilliant. They were on it. They're still on it, but they're harder to catch now. Hmm. You know, there's less fish around. Okay. And you Small brain. Teeth is fishing. There's a few bubbles coming up. I mean, that didn't happen for a few hours. Hmm. This is like late on now. Um, and we've just been. Just took it nice Let's and easy. have a look at your bait tray then. What's going off here? Without slipping over, mate. Not, uh, Nothing complicated. There's ground bait. I mean, that was sort of... So you did a bag this morning, yeah, didn't we you? Fish like, we probably put, what we put, just over half a bag in so far. Yep. Um, four balls in it to start. With a few pinkies, a few casters, a few dead maggots. Um, started, probably took about 15 minutes to get a bite. Caught a couple of roach. Then we've had a couple of small skimmers, probably like eight ounces. And, um, and then I started getting a few little indications, a few little liners. Um, then I've gone from like maggot, you know, double pinky to maggot and pinky, that was good. But then we topped up, even though it only topped up after about an hour and a half. And as soon as I topped up, it's been mega. I mean, you're right on it. And that happens a lot. Some days you can just go out and put a volume of ground bait in, catch all day. No problem at all. Other days, it was like, it was like the fish are in your peg, milling around. You're getting an odd little liner, a lot of little location. You do get a bite, but it took sort of between five and 10 minutes. Mm. And then we topped up and it was like five or 10 seconds. <laughs> so they're right on it. Yeah. So do you think they could it. take another ball now? Yeah, I think Baptiste can put a little ball in. Come on then. And then see if it works again. But obviously, like a lot of fish, you get asked a lot, don't you? Des, I can't catch the fish. I know the fish are in my peg. There's bubbles coming up. Sometimes that's where you just got to top up with slightly smaller balls and fish straight on it. Mm. So if we try that now, Baptiste, do you want me to make you a little ball up? Yes, get rid of that in there, because that's been... We just had a big, heavy shower. It is. This what? is the day after storm, Dennis. So just to give you an idea how much rain yeah. we've had just recently. Uh, a lot. A lot, haven't we? So I'm going to put a little bit in there. That's obviously the, the dryish, quite a dryish mix. Nice. I'm going to put a few dead, few dead pinkies in it. A few casters. Casters I've put in. I've tried caster on the hook. Oh, no, I'm not at a bite on it yet. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. But they're just sort of... And not squeezing too hard. So like we want it to go down and break up. So it's just enough to get it down to the bottom. So just an odd bit of bait in there. A few dead pinkies, a couple of casters. No worms, Des? No, I think today, because the water's quite... I mean, this lake normally is quite clear. Um, I think you'd have caught on worms today. It's been a bit mild around it the last few days. But it's a bit of a gamble with worms, this time of year. It can work on some venues, and other venues, it's like, the, it's like putting cyanide in your peg. Um, yeah. I think what we've done today... And the nice thing about today is, the little fish, the tiny fish, it's, they've not really had a go. It's all been quality. Mm. We've had quality roach, skimmers. Like I said, we've had a barbel. Um, but it's about skimmers today. Definitely skimmers. So nice firebank marker. Putting everything in down the same hole. Same hole, yeah. At the start, we put them four balls, you know, the bigger balls in. We space them around a little bit. Probably the size of my sort of side tray there, if you like, you know. 
dotted them about a bit. But you can tell by topping up, you're right on it. They're they're literally straight on the balls yeah. as it as it sort of goes down. But of course we can if the guys want to watch the full video, ships tips. Yep, should be out. Sonny Bates day channel. Day. As long as our cameras currently day. working. Yeah. We've had a few camera issues <laughs> today, haven't we? <laughs> don't like the uh, camera don't like the wet and the like cold. The cold or the wet, no. A bit like my hands really. Going blue. Workers' hands. But it's been brilliant oh. fishing. Here we go. Nice sim, straight back on that. Crown bait, wasn't it? Yeah, it, you are. Oh, I nearly. Oh, he's liner. Oh. He's a liner. <laughs> you <laughs> see, <laughs> that skimmer had about three goes at that. There's definitely a few fish off the bottom today. You know, you've got to be a bit patient. Wait for the right bite. A lot of quite, you know, fishing a little bit more line on the deck. That's definitely been better today. So you are fishing a bit over depth. A bit today. over depth, probably half a float length today. Because I was like earlier. Caught a few fish, fish in normal depth, you know, with the body just out of the water. And then I was getting it all little in case. I thought, no, I've got to put a bit of line on. Wait, be nice and patient. And I've had some lift bites, Ooh. some unders. Ah, oh. nice I think patient. some of that, I'm pretty sure Liners. some of that is where you top up. And some of the roach are off the bottom. Yeah, they're coming straight to yeah. it, aren't they? They're coming, they're, you know, they're in that column. That, that column. So many indications there, isn't there? Yeah, but before... I think oh, some of that would be. Ropey. I think some of that would be little roach. I do just off the bottom, bombing around, which, doing the thing. You know. So I just want to catch one more, just to end this little. In fact, let's go. We need to riddle the catches, didn't we? Yeah, let's go. And forgot, didn't that. we? Forgot. Because we walked over, we messed, we messed him up, didn't we? Yeah. We can come back to him, nailing one. So back to the thatchers. There you go, you can see it all it's like around. like a cake in it in the bottom. Yeah, it's like a cake, you've got all your big bits of it, just think, Jesus, what am I going to do with that? There's only one thing to do with it. Four Six mil riddle. riddle. Yeah, four mil riddle. Push that through really, really easy. Breaks up, no problem at all. And sometimes I'll push it through twice. If you want a real, like, fluffy ground bait, that's really, really easy. To be fair, that's good enough. That's lovely, isn't it? But if you want to, stick it through again. Put it through again. And it does help it, it does, just breaks everything down that little bit finer, because Thatcher's is a quite a fine ground bait. It's one of the finest ground baits we do. So you see how easy that was. And look at that. It's what I call the perfect ground bait, whether you're fishing with a feeder, you know, if you were putting that for a feeder, it's absolutely perfect. I said three quarters of a pint of water to a kilo, and it takes it takes minutes. Do you know what I mean? You can do it before you leave home. You can do it. I do it on the bank normally. Yeah, we always say like as soon as you get to your peg, don't we? Yeah. But I mean that you just done that in ten minutes, simple. so it's absolutely simple. Shows you how easy it is. You know, if you're going for a short session, use yeah. that timeline. And a kilo is probably about four liters of ground bait. Yeah. For so if you're normal. Your normal day like I'm doing today, a kilo is about right. So, Unless you're going to be putting in sort of 10, 15 balls. So, thank you very much, mate. That's right. No problem at all. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you again soon. Cheers.